sweet little structure. Oh my goodness, let me just back this up here. Hopefully I won't. Oh my God, that is gonna be a Hanson Land and Sea Custom Builders. You are doing a beautiful job on that tiny house. It's gorge. Okay, look at the sunflowers. Oh, at the school. Okay, Roberts Creek, look at the fall colors. Oh my gosh. Not a bad view for this trip. I think I might hang out in my car and hang out on the deck today. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer and stuff here so get that ready so my crossing is faster and uh okay you know bon voyage home and welcome home okay here i go good afternoon how are you i'm good how are you all right Where's yeah home? home is in eugene oregon Although I am Canadian, so I was home for this summer with my best friend and her husband, and we had an amazing summer. All right, how long were you in Canada for? Uh, since, I think around July 17th. Okay, did you buy anything in Canada you bring home with you? I bought um, a duvet and a pillow from Ikea, right. and I'm bringing back one bottle of wine. All right, do you tobacco? I don't smoke tobacco, sir. Drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs. Guns. <laughs> no guns, sir. Cash over $10,000 in the vehicle. No. <laughs> Thank you. You as well. Have a great week. See, there's 
so friendly. They're so friendly at the borders. And it's always very quick. Okay, so as you saw, super easy. Answered all my questions and I'm on my way to my American home. Well, good morning from the famous Astoria Megler Bridge. Uh, yeah, living down by the river <laughs> under a bridge. We're gonna make some coffee this morning. Welcome to Astoria. This is historical Astoria. This is the Megler Bridge behind me. On the other side of it is Washington. Okay, we are now at the beach and I'm just going to show you this amazing ancient feature. Thank you to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Kieser Down Filled Sleeping Bags. These are amazing little warm sleeping bags. They fold down pretty small in these compression socks. They sent me two and I can zip them together so I can cuddle with a friend. They go down to zero Celsius and 32 Fahrenheit. As I was saying, they sent me two. These are mummy bags and they're about the size of a giant loaf of bread. This is half loaf. I ate half of it. Sorry. <laughs> But you'll agree, these are super compact, they're quality made, they're down filled, they're meant for the outdoors. So let's open them up and take a look. 
they come with a mesh bag for storage it's nice to keep them fluffed out as well as the compression sack for them for backpacking but here it is after 30 minutes it's fluffed up it's looking pretty warm and fluffy mm-hmm can't wait to try this out. As I said, they sent me two. One for a friend to cuddle up with. They can be zipped together to form one big giant bed. This is perfect for camping in super cold weather. If you'd like to get one, the links are in the description below. Use the discount code, stay warm, safe, and be cozy. And thank you, Keezer Sleeping Bags. Now back to our video. That is the Peter Iredell shipwreck. Every year it changes with the tides and uh, that's a lot showing. So we're going to get down there today. We're going to make some lunch on the back of night and then we're going to wander down there. <sighs> Tailgate lunch at the ocean. So I didn't finish our coffee chat today because uh, a friend called so I had to like stop filming and then of course you know I had my car open under the bridge making coffee and people were walking by with their dogs going hey what's going on in your car so uh, I may or may not have gone into the park and taken a free shower <laughs> but we are in Fort Stevens this is the Peter Iredell Beach and just up over here is the shipwreck but I'm gonna make myself uh, some au jus, and uh, I've got a roast beef and cheddar sandwich. And I'm gonna have that, and then we're gonna go for a hike. Got some better than bouillon to make some uh, au jus. Let's get some heat on here. Oh yeah, it's the last of the warm weather here on the Oregon coast. That's why I buzzed out of British Columbia and came here because this is the best time of the year to be here. Like. Today, right now in the sun, it's in the high 70s. There's a little bit of wind, not much, but uh, it's the perfect day to be at the beach. Okay, so we've got that going. Now I gotta get the sandwich. My little blue jar fridge, blue jar fridge is still running good. So yeah, got a roast beef and cheddar sandwich. I probably just eat half of this because I just want to have a little snack. See what beverage for today. Ooh, yerba mate orange. Not sponsored. But if you're watching, I love your beverage. And let's have a pickle with our sandwich. And uh, yeah, that should be good. That's a good looking little sandwich. But I only need half of it. Oh, and I even have some chips. Isn't this amazing? Like this lunch spot, you can't get any closer to the ocean, right? Some chips. Just a few, that little crunch. Okay. And there's my beach lunch. God, it's so bright out here. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Got our au jus in here for my roast beef and cheddar sandwich. A little dippy dip. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna have my lunch and then take you guys for a walk on the beach after. right just gorgeous okay well now that lunch is done let's go down and check out the shipwreck well that was a good tailgate uh, lunch. So now I'm just heading down this hill. And uh, 
I could be in a bathing suit today. Like I, I could even go swimming, but I'm not going to. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> but let's just flip you around here. So see way down there? You can drive on this beach. Um, I think you enter it from way down, like way down there at Gerhardt. And uh, oh, and there's horses on the beach too. This is gonna be awesome. We'll walk this way. <laughs> I gotta pay attention. The ocean's coming near, my dear. <laughs> yeah, so a little Volkswagen Beetle down there. <laughs> that thing can drive on the beach. It says you need four-wheel drive, I guess. Is that a beetle? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a jellyfish. Kids, you never want to step on that. Even if it's alive or dead, it'll still sting you. Be careful. Now that might help the situation a little bit. Let's get us closer to the shipwreck. Oh my goodness. Oh, the sand is so warm. Feels so good. Horses, there's horse poop. You gotta be careful. Look at that. Okay, water temperature check. Let's see how cold it is. Ah. I wouldn't run up and get my bikini and put my bikini on, but it is nice because it's helping to give me natural air conditioning and cool me down. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is the shipwreck behind us here. The Peter Iredell shipwreck that happened in the early 1900s. I forget the year. I want to say 1918, but I don't think that's right, so I'll try to put it below here when it happened. But I'm going to take us a little closer so we can look at it.
get my little boots. Yeah. So another reason why I wouldn't choose to go uh, swimming here either is there is a nasty, nasty um, undertow. Like there's nobody, nobody swimming on this uh, shoreline at this beach. Um, and there's no lifeguards on duty. And it's just super dangerous. I mean, I'll wade out in it, but I'm even very careful about that because there are sneaker waves. So, but I still got to get my feet in it. Wasn't that nice? All right, so it's now two o'clock in the afternoon. It turns out I have been doing this beach day all wrong. Let me just show you what I mean. for this. Okay, we're going down there in ninth. This is how you do the beach, kids. Oh, it's a little bit soft. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, big rock right there. Not allowed to speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like my dream beach day. I just love it. Attention. Let's get a little beach spot up here out of the wind. We'll have a picnic. We'll have the bottom facing the beach. Mm -hmm. Beach deck, beach backyard, and uh, our beach house. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh my god, oh, he's doing this all wrong up there, although it was a very nice view, but are you kidding? Oh, I just might put my bathing suit on now. Okay, I'm all situated at my beach house, so here's my beach house, and here's my beach. <laughs> Sorry about the wind. Yep. Yep. I switched to shorts. Uh-huh. Toes are in the sand getting some sun. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm feeling a little restless. And, uh, well, before the tide comes in, I want to, uh, I just want to explore the beach a little bit more. Okay, so up ahead, when I get closer, I'll turn the camera around and you can see the shipwreck. Uh, yeah, this is pretty darn cool. Up here, Let's get you over there a little bit. Yeah, that is the shipwreck. Let's get you close. Yep. another beautiful view. Oh my gosh. Of the shipwreck. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take ninth for a bath. Hi. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's been here for over a hundred years. Like
this is how you're supposed to get on the beach. <laughs> so we'll just drive down here a little bit and see what it looks like down here and have a little picnic. Even a motorcycle goes on the beach. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> it's now tailgate lunch. We've got some shrimp and corn chowder with half of a jalapeno and cheddar cheese bagel. I put some Louisiana hot sauce in it. And here's my view. We'll just see how this is. Oh, oh my goodness. And they even warmed the bagel up beside the stove. Yeah. Mm. And to it, I added a little bit of dill, a little bit of cracked pepper, and um, some garlic powder and onion powder, because it just, just didn't have enough stuff in it. But uh, eh, I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch. My seafood chowder at the beach. Mmm. 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 Eat some more hot sauce. I like this Louisiana because it's got a nice sweet to it, too. That's what I'm putting in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. A little more hot sauce. Let's see how that is. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's got a sweet kick. Oh, and in case you didn't know, <laughs> this is the tailgate. Let me just show you. <laughs> I'm using the back at night. This is my dining room table today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with this beautiful view. I mean, can you believe it? Holy crap. Mm. I think the tide's coming in, though. And from the watermarks on the beach, it goes all the way up to the dunes, so... I better be careful. Just doing my dishes in case you're new to my channel. <laughs> Okay, well it's time to blow this uh, little popsicle stand. Ooh, a popsicle sounds good. Um, the tide, I'm gonna flip you around here. The tide's coming in. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, you see that water line? It's starting to cover all the tracks. So, <clears throat> I found the proper entrance, apparently where I was entering and exiting before, was not the entrance. So this, right here on our right, is the entrance. It's going to be a little bit bumpy, but I think we're going to be okay. No need to air up or air down, but see that? It's a little, ooh, yeah. yeah. Let's see how these tires work. The off-road in the sand. Oh, sweet. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have to hit the garbage cans and the restroom. Get some water. Dig himself in. Yeah, woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, another day. <laughs> another town.